Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Uh, I'm just getting myself ready. I'll do my outfit of the day when I get to work. But I just wanted to talk to you about something because I just put it on. And every day this week that I've put it on, I've wanted to mention it and I keep forgetting. So, remember how I got those two... God, look how messy my vanity is. I really need to organize it. I got those two um, perfumes in my Ipsy bag last, last Friday. Well, I didn't realize until I put this on, this is actually like a cologne for, like it's one for your husband or your, the man in your life and one, I think one is cologne because it smells, yeah, it says British style with a twist of rock and roll for him and her, which I don't remember reading that part, but I've been wearing the men's fragrant, fragrance all week and like it's not overly manly, so I feel like I can kind of get away with it, especially because you tend to wear like warmer scents in the winter. And I, I don't know, like I'm really loving it. Like I only do one, maybe two sprays, so it's not like a heavy, you know, scent of it. I just wonder if like, I don't know, I haven't like seen Eddie, so I don't know if I, when I was wearing it, so if he would be like, you smell like a man, what's going on? But I just wanted to tell you guys that like I'm really loving Signature by English Laundry for men. Um, I do like the women's one also, I have that in my bag. But this has just been the one I've been grabbing all week. And other than that, the only other winter perfume I own is Juicy Couture, Couture Couture. And I'm almost out of that, but I love that scent also. I did it for a while and now I'm back. It's funny how like our scents change. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put my shoes on. And I don't know if I'm going to do the rest of my makeup here or do it at work. Not really in a hurry to do it. <laughs> um, I just wanted to get like my base done because I'm not bringing that stuff with me. And, uh, yeah, then I'm going to head on out to get some Starbucks. Mmm. You ever just have one of those days where every single thing is just really annoying you and you just can't, like, as much as you tell yourself it's not that serious or it's really not a big deal, stop letting it affect you, you can't help it. Everything today is just really getting on my last nerves. People. Just, like, people in my life. <laughs> I think it's just holiday stress is starting to catch up with me. Um, it's just, you know, it happens. It's just frustrations, and I don't know. I feel like I need to turn the camera on and tell you guys about it. But I'm uploading yesterday's vlog now. I'm happy that that's going up. I'm getting out the big boxes for all my nieces and nephews. I realized I did go a little overboard. I just sent the picture to Eddie's sister. Like, it looks like a lot, but it's not, I promise. No, it is. It's a lot. Sometimes I just get a little crazy, but whatever and then the other the smaller box is for his his brother and his fiance like I, I don't know like I've seen like right now I'm really frustrated that he's done none of the shopping and it's his family like that's not how I should be thinking because it's both of our family but you know it's just like really frustrating because I'm the one I feel like I think of everything and like I take care of everything and then it doesn't get appreciated by Eddie sometimes even though it does but he doesn't show you know like just like my brain is going a million miles a minute and I'm just stressed out um, my family's leaving tomorrow, so that's in the back of my mind stressing me out because I hate flying, so I'm, you know, worried and frustrated, and I'm also upset that I'm not going to be with my family for the holidays, and I haven't really thought about it until now, and I think it's starting to catch up with me. Um, I've never been without my family on a holiday, especially Christmas, so it's okay. I mean, I'm, I had the opportunity, and I, I said no, and it's just... I guess it's just one of those things, like it's it's a har harsh reality. I'm thankful that Eddie's actually off because I'll get to be with him. Um, because then I don't even know what I would do. Like, I guess I really didn't notice that I was upset until now. Um, just like having a kind of bad day. No, just, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> my obsession with the My Favorite Ornament Nail Polish continues. I just said to my friend, I was like, I think that I've worn this color every week since I've gotten it. And this is the same red that I just had on my nails, which is uh, all I want for Christmas is my OPI. Both are from the Mariah Carey line. I have the red in my bag still because I bought it for my mom on Sunday. Lunch haul. Okay, I ran to the place that I actually went to yesterday for a sandwich, but I got a salad because they have the bomb diggity chopped salads. I had to think about what I was gonna say for a second there. Um, and I know later when I go out, I'm. I wasn't sure what I was going to get up until now. I'll definitely be getting a quesadilla because as I was checking out um, at the deli just now, they they took a quesadilla out from the back, like the kitchen area, and I was like, yep, I need that. And the place where we're going, Del Fuego, has amazing quesadillas. But this is what 
I got for lunch. I'm very excited. It's called the factory chopped salad. Um, Romy lettuce, grilled chicken, feta cheese, cranberries, apples, walnuts, and I had him add in a little bit of bacon and balsamic vinaigrette. It's a huge ass salad. Um, I usually have leftovers. I don't know. I probably will today, but I don't want to leave it here all weekend. I could have it tomorrow. It's delicious. I just took a little bite of the apple. You could easily recreate this at home. I probably will. I'm a little rusty when it comes to making graphics for my blog, especially for circuits, but this is what I came up with and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, it is on my blog now, it's on Pinterest, it's on Instagram, it's everywhere that you would be interested in finding it. And I'm telling you guys, it really was a great workout. I loved it. Um, so what you do is you do like this round, one minute of work, however many you can do in a minute, take 15 to 30 seconds or however long you need before moving on to the next wor uh, work, like the next move. Then you do all four moves and move on to the next one. And you do all four of these and then you go through it again for like a full workout. And I promise you, you will love it. And you could do it anywhere. You know, you don't need to, if it's like where it says weighted squats, just do air squats if you don't have them and you're like in a hotel room or something or, you know, you don't have to do shoulder presses with work, uh, with weights or overset, overhead tricep extensions, you know, whatever you, you, you make your workout, your workout and you can do whatever you want. There's always modifications you can do and there's always, you know, you can switch one workout on for another. It's your workout, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm pretty, I'm excited that I finally had something to share workout wise, both on my vlog and my blog. Before I head out for the weekend, I wanted to do a really quick outfit of the day for you guys because I haven't done one yet and I just realized that. So, here I am again, haha. <laughs> okay, um, my shrug you've seen before, it's like a mustard yellow color. It's from Loft, shocker, I know. Um, and this bird shirt, it's like really, it's a difficult shirt to wear because you can wear it like off the shoulder or you can wear it like up, but like super, I don't want it to go too low because it does expose like my bra because it's a little big on me. So I like to go off the shoulder. It's just a little hard with the sweater, but it has birds and feathers on it. And then I'm wearing a long, ne oh, a long necklace that I got, um, I want to say two years ago, it was a gift from a friend. Uh, it's Michael Kors, and she used to work there in the PR department, so she got me one when she donated a bunch of them to my aunt's breast cancer walk as one of the raffle prizes. Then these, you've seen these a million times before too. They're like my emeraldy green, teal green, I don't really know, skinnies, and my brown boots, which Eddie dropped my black ones. Oh, and I have uh, earrings, just dangly gold thingies from Forever 21. Um, Eddie dropped my black boots off that I wiped out in last week to the shoemaker in town so I can wear them tomorrow night to the city because um, we're going to sushi and karaoke in the city like I told you guys. So I wanted to wear them because they're co not only are they comfortable, they're just like my only black boots that I own. Um, and it's $13 to fix a heel. Had I known I would have avoided falling in them. But yeah, that's my outfit of the day. Here it is. It's having a lot of issues with it, just like, so you can see an overview, and that's it. And it's finally the weekend. We just had the best dinner. Del Fuego is definitely like my favorite restaurant, I think. Well, besides Farouk. And what else? Um, I had guacamole with mango and pineapple, which is my favorite guacamole ever. And then for dinner, I ordered the cheese quesadillas, but I only ate one of them and I ended up giving the rest away because I was so full from like, they, they just kept refilling the chips over and over and over again. Like we had like- You have to eat them all. I know, but when they're sitting there, I just do. <laughs> and I had two of the best Bloody Marys I've ever had. I think that that's actually my- Did you my, get them with horseradish in them? I said I wanted them a little, like I didn't want them spicy, but they could put a little bit of horseradish in. So he did, like he listened, he did just that and it was perfect. <clears throat> so, um, Chance. Um, yeah, so I had two Bloody Marys and I think that might be like my new drink of choice. Even though, I don't know, I feel like it's weird to drink that at night. When are you supposed to drink it? In the morning? Like probably brunch, weird. like a brunch drink. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, it's probably weird that you drink in the morning. But what did you get? I got, um, I got a Texas barbecue burger, which was a bacon cheddar burger with um, smoked brisket on top. How was it? Fantastic. And you got your, your dip? 
Oh, yes, I did. Which I, I mean, everybody shared it, but. Yeah. So there was a big table of us. There was about 10 of us there, I believe. There was nine. Nine of us, yeah. It was a really good time, though. So, and I was glad I got to see my mom before she leaves at three in the morning. And I will be having anxiety until I hear from her. She'll be fine. I know. So they land in Miami around 8.45 in the morning, and then their second flight takes off around 11. They land at 2.30. So tomorrow's going to suck <laughs> for me. But anyway, I gave Eddie one of his presents, so I'm going to show you guys. You guys know what it is. Open it. Yeah, you are going to open it. Look, is can it you turn this a, way? Is it bigger than a bread box? Yeah, no. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, I'm just kidding. Bread boxes are way bigger. I know. What, what, wait, what do you think it is? Guess. I think it is socks. No, really. Is that really what you think? Yeah. Give a good guess. What if it sucks, though? Okay, but what do you uh, really think it is? I think it's not a video game. No. Maybe a hat? Cans. Let them live. A hat? Well, you know, one that folds up into a little box. Okay, you're just being silly. Um, a glove? Gloves? No. Oh, bike gloves? Yeah. That's a good guess. Well, that's why I thought bike socks, maybe. Yeah, that's a good guess. All right. Uh, can you give me a hint? Nope. Okay then. So oh. I'm just gonna go ahead and okay. open it then. Cutest dogs ever. Just had to show you guys. Zach, do you see me? Come here. What? Stop. Just open it. Come here. Come here. Come here. <gasps> it's more paper underneath. Yeah, I know. I got really lazy at the wrapping, so I just gave you all the scraps. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh, it's a power bank. It's 300 megahertz or whatever. Yeah, megahertz. And milliamps? That. <laughs> and it has the Thunderbolt cord built into it already with an additional USB port in case it ever like craps out. And it had four and a half stars on Amazon. Are you excited? Yeah, I can't even open the box. I'm so excited. I figured you'd like that. 